this four part video series, we show you several ways you can adjust the pitch of vocals using four waves plugins. Now pitch correction can be transparent, fixing only the notes within a performance that need maybe just a gentle push in line, or it can be used to produce creative sounding affected melodies, which is very popular in modern top line production. Now in this series, we've been running through the plugins in order of complexity. We first looked at ultra pitch, which helped us to create more backing vocal lines from one single recording. And we've looked at Waves Tune Real Time, which helps us to get a very fast sounding tuning effect on the lead vocal. In this video, we're gonna be looking at Waves Tune, and I'm gonna show you how you can use this to transparently adjust the pitch of your vocals, but also you can go quite creative on this as well, if you choose. So I'm just gonna give you a quick overview, really, of this plugin, because it's very powerful, and it's very similar to other pitch correction plugins you will find out there which is handy because that familiarity can help you get up and going with these things very quickly. Now, you first need to load up an auxiliary track and throw on the Waves Rewire plugin. And that's all you need to do. You forget about it, leave it there. Next, you can insert this in the first insert on your vocal track and you need to be able to get the vocal into this. And it's very simple. You simply just put your DAW into playback. You gotta climb somewhere. And you see it's scanning away. Until you fall. Just use this little selection for the minute. Now, we've got our tools at the bottom here, or we can access them by clicking right here. I prefer this workflow. To zoom, just select an area, say something like this, let go, and it zooms in. To zoom back out again, use a modifier key and click. You've got auto scroll. If you want to move around the UI, got the hand tool. Now you can select the key of the song. Let's do that here first, D natural minor. We did this in the previous video when we were using Waves Tune Real Time. I know that there's a B natural in this, so let's just include that into the scale. But to actually apply this key, we need to select the pitch information with the select tool here and then apply. If we just zoom in further so you can see what happened there, you can see the green line is the new pitch and the orange is the original pitch. Let's just play this back so you can hear. You gotta climb somewhere. And if you notice at the bottom here, we've got speed and note transition, which we've also got in Waves Tune Real Time to play around with. But if we wanna move notes independently, we can here with the note tool. We've got a pencil tool here we can use to, let's say, flatten out vibrato. You gotta climb somewhere. But that can be a bit freehand. Let's just undo that. We've got a line tool, which we can use to draw very defined lines in, so click and drag. Can always do that here as well. Hear what it sounds like. You gotta climb somewhere. As you can see, plenty of options here for tuning a vocal, maybe transparently or in an affected way. Anyway, hope you guys got something from this video. It's only intended just to give you a quick introduction to Waves Tune. In the final video, we're gonna be looking at how you can really go crazy with your vocal tuning effects using Waves' latest plugin, Waves Ovox. Anyway, hope you guys got something from this video, and I'll see you in the next episode.